Good afternoon, men. This is Scott, aka Sydney MGTOW, here today. It is a um, Saturday evening and, well, Saturday afternoon. I know this isn't a live stream. This is actually the first video I've done in weeks and weeks and weeks that is not a live stream. Uh, but I am working on something very, very important tonight so that I can follow through on a promise that I made to you men over the last few weeks on a particular something. Uh, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. For those of you who don't, stay tuned. Anyway, men, I just wanted to get you guys to reflect a little this afternoon on uh, what it is that you've done this weekend that benefits you um, as a man going his own way or a MGTOW. Um, MGTOW stands for men going their own way. I really want you to understand what it is, what way you're actually going and what it is that you want to do uh, for yourself. Um, for example, if, if what you want to do for yourself is write a book, then you should be sitting down right now and writing. If what you want to do for yourself is become an amazing football player, you should be out there training right now. If what you want to do for yourself is uh, become a travel agent, you should be sitting down right now researching travel destinations. You should be booking tickets. You should be applying for jobs. And this is the thing, you know, you can never really truly get to where you want to be unless you take steps of action. Even for something so simple as you know, setting up, say, let's say, for example, I wanted to set up my TV and my stereo together. Some people would find that a little daunting, uh, people who aren't maybe very technologically minded. But if I said to you, okay, can I get you to get a knife and slice the seal in this box? Let's say, okay, slice it. Okay, now get a knife and slice the seal in this box. Okay, now I want you to open both those boxes out and pull out the contents. So they'll open both the boxes up and pull out the contents. And I'll say, now what I want you to do is I want you to lift that TV out of the box and I want you to place it where you'd like to sit it. And that person would then take the TV and place it where they want it to be. And I'd say, okay, now take the, um, you know, the home theater console with the DVD in it out and put that where you want that to be. So they do that. I say, okay, well now grab the power cable from the TV and plug that into that hole in the back where it says power and then plug it into the wall. And they do that. And you do the same with the home theater system. You're halfway to being set up. Whereas if I tell some of these people, um, you know, go and set those two things up, they're going to say, oh, but, but I don't know how to. Men, please do not be discouraged when you find things difficult. It is a step-by-step -step process. Do you think any man on the face of the earth learned to become a an engineer of spacecraft by being told, oh, go and be an engineer of a spacecraft. No, they researched, they looked into what it took. They learned, they took it upon themselves to dedicate years and years and years to their craft. You know, um, in one of Chris Cantu's videos, he says it takes 10,000 hours for a man to become a master of his craft. And I think the more and more a master of your craft become, the more and more time you need to spend making sure that you keep that mastery alive. And this is it, man. Find the passion in your life. Master that. Work towards it. Don't let anybody step in your way. If someone wants to spend time with you and you don't have the time, because what you want to become a master of is more important to you than spending time with that person, then say one of the most important words in the English language, the word no. And you don't have to be mean about it, but understand where your goals lie. Understand where your path is. Understand what it is that you need to do to get to where you need to be so that you can be the best version of the best man that you want to be. Don't let anybody take that away from you. Anyway, men, I just want you to reflect if, if there's a goal in your life that you're struggling to work towards, that you want to achieve, what I want you to do, please, is to think about what you can do to take those next steps. All right, what, what is the next step? You know, if you want to, um, if you want to learn how to be an engineer, what's your next step? How can you learn that? If you want to get a job, what's the first step? Create a resume. If you don't know how to create a resume, what's the first step? You go and find out how to create a resume. If you, if you don't know how to go out and find out how to create a resume, think to yourself, where would I look if I wanted to find out how to do something basic like this? You've got the internet as your resource. You've got other, you've got go out and, and ask people, put it put on Facebook, say, is anyone the owner of a company? Or is, does anyone look after the hiring in their company? And can they give me some tips on how to basically improve my resume skills? People out there will help you if you want to help yourself. Especially other men. We are part of a brotherhood. 
we help other men that want to help ourselves. We won't very often help men that don't want to help themselves because we know it's a waste of our time. We don't get any return on investment on that. So it it would be no different to us. It would be just as much of a waste of time as if we were to go and pay for um, pay for movie tickets for us and some and some other girl that we've maybe met on Plenty of Fish that's a single mum or you know that doesn't really have much going for herself or you know some some girl who thinks she's got an overinflated sense of entitlement she's probably not going to end up dating you anyway. Um, you know why would you waste your time and your money and your energy on these things? when you know that there's no return on investment for you, even if that return on investment is just a feeling of satisfaction. And to those men of you um, who, like me, like helping other people, um, don't let your energy be drained by those who won't help themselves. If they won't help themselves, you need to actually stand up and say, dude, look, I've tried to help you. You clearly don't want my help because you're not interested in doing the things I'm telling you to do to get to the point you want to get to, to reach your goals. So... I'm not helping you anymore. You come back and you tell me when you're ready to be helped. They'll say, oh, I'm ready to be helped now. And you say, no, you're not ready to be helped because you're not listening to what, you've come to me for advice. I've given you advice and you won't listen. So until you're ready to listen to my advice and ready to do what I say, don't come back to me. You have to say that, man. You have to be cruel to be kind. Some, some people will never ever come back to you and that's okay because they don't want help. They just, they just want... They want a one-step solution. They want to go from here to here with one easy step, whatever that may be. They don't want to have to spend more than five minutes grinding towards their goal. So if you're going to dedicate your time to people that need your help and that want your help, make sure you dedicate yourself towards the people that are going to grind, that are going to push, that are going to put an effort in to change themselves and change their own lives. You know, Don't make it a labor of love if they don't appreciate you. And to all you men who've got goals that they want to achieve and you've got particular things that you want to do, think about what the baby steps are as part of that plan. And I want you to write them all down in sequence of what you need to do. And then I want you to go and find all those things in sequence. And if you can't do one of those things in that sequence, then break that down into further steps in sequence. And follow through step by step through a whole step of the way, just all little baby steps. Because if you keep grinding, if you keep pushing, if you keep persisting, you will get there. I promise you, men. If you're working towards a goal where you're prepared to put in the work, you will get there. No, don't be discouraged by other people telling you that you should do something else. Those people are just the sheep. They are not the men like you, the men going their own way. That's not who they are and they don't understand what we're all about. So don't take it to heart. Just use that as ammunition. Use that as fire to fuel your ambition. Use that as a tool to push for something even greater, something even more important. Harness that energy. Use that motivation to prove people wrong, to prove them wrong. But more importantly, to prove to yourself that you are the man that you want to be. Anyway, guys, Sydney MGTOW signing out. Um, I hope you enjoy watching my video. Um, either right now after it's uploaded or later on tonight or tomorrow or whenever that time may be. Sorry, I couldn't do this live, man, but you know, I, I'm grinding, I'm trying to become a master of my craft and I'm ground. Maybe I should try to become a master of saying a whole entire sentence without fucking it up. That'd be great. But seriously, man, I uh, just want to become a master of my craft. I want to be the best man that I can be. I've, I've already laid my steps out. I know what I have to do and I'm following through with those steps. And unfortunately, one of those steps means not going on live tonight. So, um, you know, I do do my videos daily. I do have them ready for you every single night. So I'm going to see if I can schedule this to drop it around about the time I normally do my lives because, you know, I want to be here for you men and I want to give you videos and truths and honesty and help for yourself every single day. All right, brothers, have a great night. Smash the thumbs up. Hit subscribe if this is your first time watching my videos and hit the bell next to it to make sure you get the notifications. If you are loving my videos, Feel free to subscribe via crypto or Patreon or PayPal as I've got in the links below. I uh, love all of you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.